Today we're going to introduce you all to Testify's furriest members, probably our two most popular members, at least in any videos, they've been the most popular feature. So we figured we'd give them their very own video. Uh, this is Milo, and this one here is Parker, the gym dogs of Testify. All right, a little history. We got Milo in March of 2019. He was about four months old when he got him and weighed around 40 pounds. He's actually the only dog, I think, whose birthday Becky and I have ever known. Uh, it happens to be November 15th, and somehow this video actually just happens to be coming out on his birthday. So I guess, happy birthday, Milo. He was immediately a gym dog and took to it pretty darn well. As a side note, you'll note that some of these photos are from Testify's old location, as we didn't actually move into our current location until Thanksgiving of 2019, when Milo was about a year old. So, as a typical puppy, there was lots of sleeping, getting petted and hugged and squeezed, and then more sleeping in those first few months. Milo is half Rottweiler and half Mastiff, so describing him as a loyal dog and a dog that loves his people would be putting it mildly. Uh, he likes very solid physical contact, so he likes being petted just fine, but what Milo really wants is to be hugged or squeezed or he wants to lay his gigantic 40-pound noggin down on your lap or your arm or your chest. This is how Milo shows love. Now flash forward to May of 2020, so a little after a year after we got Milo, Becky and I decided in our infinite wisdom to get another dog to help us tire out Milo a little bit. So enter Parker, who we got from the Nebraska Humane Society here in Omaha. The Humane Society estimated Parker's age as about two to four years old when we got him, so we just tend to think of him as about a year or two older than Milo. He was underweight at only about 75 pounds when we got him, and you'll notice you can see his ribs in some of this early footage. But he put on weight pretty steadily and pretty quickly and was at his current weight of around 90 pounds within a few months of us getting him. Now, Parker is half Golden Retriever and half Labrador Retriever, so if you have anything semi-soft laying around, socks, wrist straps, knee sleeves, shoes, stuffed animals, Parker will carry it around and probably bring it to you eventually. To help alleviate this a little bit, we got him his own stuffed animal, kind of humorously, for the gym as well as at home, and this actually works pretty well most of the time. Now, Parker doesn't care so much about being hugged like Milo does, but he does love to be petted, and he will sit right next to you for however long you're willing to pet him. Also, given how much Parker sheds, we're fairly sure his DNA contains the cure for baldness, because we're not actually sure how he has any fur left at this point. On a humorous note, there was some concern at the Humane Society about Parker finding a home, as well as another dog that could tolerate his energy and desire to play physically and wrestle, and this was absolutely perfect for Milo, although the condition of our house and our backyard would probably beg to differ. These two furballs took to each other immediately. You can see they wrestle all the time, and if you're not used to dogs, especially large dogs, playing physically, it can be surprising at first, certainly. And they chase each other all over the place. In terms of who starts what, Milo usually wants Parker to chase him at the gym. Parker gets chased and often tackled by Milo when we're out at the field, and Parker initiates most wrestling sessions, which is fairly humorous because Milo weighs between about 100 and 105 pounds and wins any time he wants to. Now that said, Parker definitely has his dirty tricks. Milo can be often seen running with his hind legs tucked underneath him because he knows Parker is going for the back leg. Some other fun facts. Milo likes to join in with local sirens, howling right along in there with any test of a tornado siren or passing fire engine, for example. On another note, Parker loves to swim and would swim out and retrieve a stick probably all day if we let him. Milo likes to swim as well, and, and although he's a pretty good swimmer, he's not quite up to Parker's level. And at any rate, Parker always brings sticks back to us, while Milo tends to try to fight Parker for the stick. In short, well, you know, I guess you could say work. Parker retrieves, whereas Milo hunts and plays for keeps. Uh, you guys are dorks. Now on a final note, Becky gave birth to our first child, Adeline, this past May, and both of the dogs were extremely excited to meet her when we brought her home the first time, and they love being around her. Addie, for her part, is, to us anyway, amazingly unfazed whenever they lick her face, considering their size compared to her size, and she is old enough now at about six months and has reached the point where she gets a kick out of watching them, simply laughing at them whenever she sees them and trying to reach out and touch them whenever possible. <laughs> Here's your single, Katie. 
Normally at the end of the video, I'll mention something about how I hope that this video helps you get stronger and live better. I can't imagine how this particular video helps you get stronger, but hopefully it was enjoyable and we'll see you next time. Right guys? See you next time. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Good job. Okay. That's it. That's it. You can go.